the keeper. Outside the Jews, outside, outside no. Jews. Uh, uh, brother, you're outside, let, no, no Jews, man. Sorry, you, you pretend they're my friend. Let him answer. Let, uh, let, let him answer. From, answer, from, let him answer. Okay, sorry. Let him answer okay, for himself. Yeah. Okay, I've asked him a question. Yeah. So, because I, when I speak, I'm, to, I'm proud of my culture. Excellent. Don't believe in God. All right. So you're so you're you're a Jewish <laughs> person <laughs> by. No, no, you're you're a Jew by. I I yeah, I, yeah. I I respect everybody's right to believe in whatever fairy tale, as long as your fairy tale doesn't tell you to kill me. No problem. Um. So okay, I haven't got a problem with that. I, I, now I know where you are in terms of morality. So in terms of objective morality, we can't say that you have a definite set of uh, moral principles that you adhere to, or do you? Uh, Western Judeo-Christian values, yep. Okay, so you, do you accept, for example, the Old Testament as uh, as divinely inspired? Or? I, uh, the, our values as Western civilization is founded on the Old Testament, so in one way or another, I do, but there are parts of it that I find uh, Yeah, abhorrent. so I'm not sure what your... Um, what your particular stance is. Well, I've seen you. I've seen you in conjunction with uh, Tommy Robinson. That's how I got to know who you were. I saw you kind of doing like a rally. I saw you with Tommy as well. I, uh, you bashed a cop or something, yeah? No, I didn't bash a cop. You can go back to the footage. It's on, it's on the public record. But here's what I'll say to you is that, yeah, so I saw you in conjunction with that. And what it seems, I'm not sure. You can obviously correct me if I'm wrong. It seems to me that your position is, um, is it anti-Islam? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Can I can I ask you? I'm not sure. And once again, I'm just asking you, right? Two steps this way. Two steps forward. Okay, no problem. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I was going to ask you then. No problem. If, you're, um, if your position is anti-Islam, that's not a problem. I mean, by definition, if you're something other than Muslim, you're going to disagree with parts of Islam. Can I ask you specifically, what do you um, find repugnant about Islam that you feel like you need to act? Let's start be with an the, uh, yes, uh, yes. the the, the anti-Semitism. Okay, go ahead. So tell me what you uh, what in particular you think. Are you denying that Islam is anti-Semitic? Well, the thing is, you'd have to uh, look at the prophet. And don't, don't, uh, Can I ask like you a question? Semitic. I don't mean. Name yeah, no, I mean no, Jew yeah, Jewish. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Well, Moses is a Semite. Yes. I know. So, uh, Jew hatred. All right. Okay. Does the Quran uh, declare hatred for Moses? Your Moses in the Quran is not the same as the Jewish Moses. No problem, but he's, he was a Bani Israel, he was a Jew. Yeah? What about today's Jews? Today's Jews? Not, not no, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, hold on. Are you, right, are so you with me? So, so, so is the Quran, because yeah. Moses for us is the most commonly repeated, oft repeated prophet in the whole of the Quran. He's repeated in over 70 passages. And Muhammad also said he was a Jewish prophet. Yes. The, the, and, and, and he, who, who, the Jew, and, that Moses was, and, yeah? And, no, 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 but Muhammad in the beginning was claiming he was a Jewish prophet to try to get the Jews on to convert. But no problem, but, but was he represented, do you reckon that the depiction of Moses in the Quran is, uh, is an anti-Semitic one? That, no. Okay, thank you very much. So then, to answer your question then, by extension, I'll say if one of the heroes of Islam is a Jew, and not just one, and actually. his version, but your version Avi, of Moses I, I, is not the Islam, Avi, I'm, not the Jewish I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but I, yep. I'm, just asking, I'm just answering your question, right? If we're looking at all of the... The Quran also says very lovely things about Jews. Okay. But the law of abrogation tells us that in the beginning, he liked the Jews. Later, when he realized... Who's he? Jew, your prophet. Okay, well, that uh, tell me where it says that in the beginning he liked the Jews and later he didn't. If you look at the historically, but the fact is... By the way, do you know the law of abrogation? Sorry, sorry yeah. to cut you off. There's a verse, it's in chapter 2, verse 106 of the Quran. It only applies to ahkam, which are rulings. It does not apply to akhbar, which are narratives. So here, what you've talked about abrogation, which is something people who don't know much about Islam, I'm not trying to say it's specifically you, use all the time. The law of abrogation only applies to legal rulings. It cannot apply. It cannot. There cannot be a narrative that um, that legal, abrogates the another legal narrative. Legal rulings are pretty much fundamental to the religion. But you are talking. Based let's on not move. Idea let's, Sharia. No problem. Let's can I, can I stop you one second? No, 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 can no, 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 it's a similar view to Timothy in the, in the Bible, which says that women are not allowed to talk in the in the church. But what I was going to say but to you was, Christians be anti-Semitic because you were saying uh, Muhammad could be anti-Semitic. I didn't say this. No, but I'm asking, can Christians be anti-Semitic? Everyone has the propensity to be no, anti-Semitic. No, 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 no. So do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's Move keep on. this. Let's keep this. Keep this going. What I was going to say, the Quran says something really interesting about Jewish people. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what the Quran says in summary. It's not that interesting. It's, no, no. You're, 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 you're focusing on the boring part, the parts that don't bother That's us. That's subjective. Well, you've asked me a question which is scriptural in nature, and I'm yep. giving you the answer, yep. right? The Quran it says, Min ahlil kitab, in chapter 3, verse 75, that there are those of the Jews and the Christians that you can trust them. 
And there are those who you can't trust them. In another verse in the same surah, it says, Laysu sawa'a. They're not all the same. That was the one verse before it. So in other words, the, the Quran's attitude towards Jews and Christians seems to be in line with its attitude towards Muslims. Because in the Quran, chapter 35 of the Quran, it says, Minhum dhalimun li nafsihi, wa minhum muqtasid, wa minhum sabiqun bil khayrat. That's, I'll hold on for you, no problem. So d just, just to keep going, the Quran says that there are some Muslims who are oppressive to themselves and some of them which are on the middle path and those who are, who are, who are who excel. Likewise, the Quran says about the Jews and Christians, they're not all the same. There are some good of them and there are some bad of them. Likewise, the Quran makes that kind of, has that sentiment to all of humankind. That humankind, you find good people and you find, you find trustworthy and you find untrustworthy. So I think if we're talking about the Quran, what we need to do is we need to look at the text I mean, it's, it's easy to say, well, Muslims believe in this and Muslims... And I would agree with you, Avi, right? If you said to me, look, Muslims are anti-Semitic, I would say to you, some of the Muslims are anti-Semitic. Now, uh, let's be honest, yes. the majority. You've been on any Muslim forum online. No, hold on. He might be right. It depends on the location. I'm from Egypt, okay? In Egypt, anti I would say anti-Semitism is the default position. Uh, if you're not anti-Semitic in Egypt, it's irregular. Whether you're a nationalist or an Islamist. Why Islamic, is that? It's because of, I will tell you, it's, hold on, let me answer your question. I can't wait for you to say yes, the yes. Z word. No, no, it's not Zionism. I'm not saying that. It's because of the wars that ensued. Should have been the Rothschild. 1967, 1973. These yes. wars heightened the anti-Semitism. But then on the flip side, the peace... That's like the Brexit. It's called sore losers. No, 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 no problem. But in the, no problem. I I don't disagree with history, right? I, I, history yeah. is a, is, a, is something which is there. But what I'm saying to you is that on the flip side, you, but you do disagree with history because when it comes to Israel, I've seen let's you. Let's not let's yeah. not let's not uh, uh, but no, but let's you, not convolute you, the discussion. No, no, but you, but you can't, you made a, a pretty uh, Go ahead, Anthony, yes. strong statement that you don't you, you don't disagree with history, but you actually do fundamentally disagree. Okay, with history. well that's that's your, maybe all right. you're right. Maybe uh, maybe it's because of my compounded ignorance of history. You could you could illuminate and educate and edify no problem but what I'm saying to you is this Avi you have to we have to stick to the topic you yes. start you started off by talking about anti-semitism in this in the scriptures right yep we talked about verses of the Quran which ex explicitly mention good things about Jewish people I'll tell you some that don't because I want to be balanced here. I don't want to be uh, you know uh, unbalanced it talks about this Jewish scholarly class in chapter 62 of the Quran Himar yahmilu asfara, donkeys that have uh, that have scriptures on their backs what does this mean? The Quran makes a criticism about Jewish scholars that they have a lot of action, they have a lot of knowledge. It says they have a lot of knowledge, but that they don't implement that knowledge. And by the way, it's really interesting about this criticism, Avi, is that it's the same criticism that the Israelis had. When recently I was looking at Haaretz, one of the Israeli newspapers. That's, uh, let's just be fair, guys. Haaretz yes. is not very Israeli. They are. And that's your position yeah. as a right wing, but it's a left wing paper, it's right? A very far left wing. Paper. Well, no problem, but it is a paper in Israel. Self-hating Jews. No problem. But yeah. they were talking about they were talking about something interesting. There was a, there was to you. Well, okay, maybe to me. Yes, yeah. subjective. Let's I was wrong. Hear it, let's hear it. Well, I was going to say is that the scholarly class, because the, the, the clerics uh, refer to as the Shahs in Israel, yeah? A yep. lot of them in parliament, in the Knesset, they refer to as Shahs. But outside, there's a scholarly class of Jewish people. They have been criticized by their own community for, for being exempt from the army. Yep. So, in fact, the Quranic criticism of the, uh, of the scholarly class of Jews is the same as the Israeli one. That you have a lot of knowledge, but you don't have any uh, action. That you're not doing so can what you're you explain to me why that had to, Let's go back to the beginning. That yes, had yes. To, there doesn't... Which the Sorry. one where it talks about, yes. and, and it's not, because I, I get the argument all the time that it's historic. And no, it's not historic. It's, that it's, one is yes. in the future. Um, uh, yes, absolutely. This, Do we need to get rid of that? No, we don't need to get rid of that, because it, what this hadith is telling us, in explicit terms, is that there will be a war between Muslims and Jews. By the way, to be fair and clear, at that particular time, yes, and this is an apocalyptic hadith, it's talking about in the end of times, it's talking about in the Day of Judgment, that there will be a war between Muslims and Jews, or some Muslims and some Jews, and then the tree will no, turn. No, 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 it doesn't say some. It, well, no. It doesn't say well, some. Well, it, no, I'll tell you what it says in the hadith. It says that there's a tree called the Gharqad, yep. which is a tree. It will become animate. It's an inanimate uh, creature, which will become animate, and it will, f it will help and facilitate and guide Muslims to be able to destroy the, uh, the Jewish enemy. That's all it is. At that particular time, in the apocalyptic period, not in uh, this is not a hadith referencing. Yes, so, uh, uh, like you said, a past event. I agree. So what? what so what do you, do you think? You don't think we should get rid of that hadith that talks about well um, killing you, Jews? Let like me that. ask you a question, right? Yes, I, I don't, and I'll be uh, completely honest with you. I don't, I'm a traditionalist. I'm a scripturalist, which which means uh, fundamentally that I believe in the Quran and then I believe in the authentic Sunnah. <laughs> so I wouldn't ever, you would never catch me saying that we can get rid of any authentic hadith. Just to be completely honest, but then I'll ask you a question. You know, Deuteronomy chapter. 13 verses 6 to 10 it says if you have someone in your home that 
وَإِذَا أَغْوَاكَ I'm saying it in Arabic, because I, you know. But it says here, let me just tell you, if, if your brother or your, your son or your daughter or your friend or your wife, if they entrust you with something, yes, and they tell you, نَعْبُدُوا إِعْلِهَةٌ أُخْرَى We will worship other gods, yes, then kill them. And stone them in their own homes. Now, this is in the Bible, the old Torah. I condemn it. You can, do you want to get I rid of it? I we should get rid of it. Okay, f fantastic. Now, go. It's I want you to. Perfect. He, he said he. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He said he condemns it. If it's in the Torah. Yes. If it's in the Torah. Yes. Get rid of it. And anybody I'm very that happy. believes it should be. Um, it should be I mean, I've, 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 job, job complete. You know why? Because for the first time, I think, in history, in your life, you've condemned a different scripture. I'm very happy that now you've looked no. at. I condemn Nazism. No, 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 no. I'm talking about scriptures. In the same, with the same, look, Avi, listen to me. Avi, Avi, perfect. With the same vigor that you have against talking about the Quran and the Hadith because of its, what you would refer to as violent verses, and we wouldn't disagree, there are violent verses in the Quran. I want you to use that same standard why do you in think, condemning why, the Bible okay. and the Old Testament. No, but the, the isn't that fair? Isn't that fair? Really? No, it's not fair. He's no, but he's an atheist. I'll tell you why. He, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you why it's not fair. Yeah, yeah, go on. Because you don't see. Jews killing Jews in the name, or Jews killing uh, Muslims in the name of the Torah. You don't see Buddha, it is just Muslims targeting Jews. Anytime there's an Isla a, a jihadi attack around the world. Okay, now it's going to be- They tend to, Avi, they, Avi, they, they yes, target, and yes. then they get the Jews on the side. Avi, it's uh, like thank a you. bonus. I see what you're saying. Avi, I appreciate where you're coming from. There's two important problems. One of them is according to Pew, Muslims account for about 1.8 billion uh, people, which means that they're about one quarter going on to, according to them, 2,100, there'll be one third of the world's population will be Muslim. One out of three people in the world will be Muslim, according so to what, what? Okay, let's now, just, no, no, hold just on. tell me now. No, 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 let me just, sorry, make the point and then you can, yeah. you can. Now, Jews account for about 30 million people maximum, Less, maybe 20 million. Yep. That, that means to say that there are more people in Cairo. Oh, with the chosen ones. So are, no uh, problem. Yeah, yeah you now, now you're going to scripture with now the chosen one. No, yeah, no problem. Anyways. There are more people in Cairo than there are Jews in the whole world. Yep. So it's a false comparison because if you have more people... Uh, what, what, what did you say? There's more about, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. There are about 20 million people yep. in Cairo. Yeah. So what I was going to say is that it's a false comparison because when you come... If you have... It, no, I'll tell you why it's not a false comparison. Let, okay, okay, let me just make the point and then you can, you can come back. If you have 2 billion people, you have 2 billion people in the world yep. versus 20 million, yep. you're definitely going to get more violence from the 2 billion, whatever faith they're from. Okay, so let me put this to you. Yes. Let's let's agree on a number, a percentage of the two billion that's jihadi, violent jihadis. What? Give me a number. What, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't give you that. Uh, 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 I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's say let's say one percent. No problem. Point uh, one. Whatever you want. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, one point, point <laughs> one. Yes. Point, my point doesn't change. Well, okay. Let's get actual no. statistics. Let's get. Hold sorry. on. Let's get my point. Yeah, my yeah, point yeah, here yeah, is that. It's not the gross number that counts. Yes. It's the fact that in no other religion, in no other religion do you have even the matching percentage that is killing and targeting others in the name of the religion. What's the there is a fundamental so, so, problem. So, so, Avi, what's the source for that? What source do you have? What evidence do you have for this? For what? For the, for the point you just made. Because I can give you evidence just, to the contrary. Just, just life. No, no. Avi, 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 Avi uh, I'm going to say to you, that's yeah, not an academic way of Avi, making... Um, Avi, uh, I, I don't need you to give me academia. Avi, come and have a cigar. Avi, don't get distracted. Okay, I'm making a very clear case. All I'm saying to you... No, no, I heard your point. There is no... There is... Avi? Sure. Uh, let Avi make his point. Go ahead, Avi. There is no other religion. I think the, there well, are so many that. more Muslims yes, than yes. Jews. We get that. No problem. Yes. And obviously there are going to be many more violent ones because of the numbers. But percentage per can, capita. Can, can I come back to you? Per capita. Yes. Because there is no fundamental thing that teaches any other okay. religion to kill. No, no problem. Avi, I'll, I will tell you something, right? If you look at the book of Deuteronomy, uh, book of Numbers, chapter 31, verses 18, and uh, verses 32, it's very clear that there is, a, uh, there is a very clear command to Moses to go into the village and the take... The Canaanites. The, yes, to go into the village. If the Canaanites were here today... Yes. Oh, no, no. And if take 32,000 girls who are virgins and take them as slaves, etc. Yeah, it's very Islamic of it. Now, yes, very, uh, very uh, Islamic. Uh, they, pre they predated Islam. Yes. So maybe it was, uh, uh, maybe, maybe the, the opposite. Joke, is, no problem. Now, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying to you. Should we take that out of the Bible as well? If to, uh, no, if it's historically happened, it's but a it's disgrace. A, it's, I condemn it. It's a command. It's a command from God, according to the Jews. Now. If there were Canaanites today, yes, yes. or Amalek, you're yes. talking about the Amalek people. No, yeah? these are not Canaanites. 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 Canaanites right. yeah. If you're taught, if they existed today and Jews were targeting them, I will be at the front 
condemning him as okay, well. Okay, I like that. Okay. Fine. So let, let, me, it, let me go it, back it, to... It's irrelevant because hey, it doesn't do you know, exist. I appreciate and it. And you're fucking tall. It's annoying. Oh, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Avi, I'm coming back to... Go back to the social extrapolation. In terms of in terms of um, raw data, okay? Raw data that we no, have in front of funny. us. The, <laughs> In terms of raw data that Did we you pay for that coffee or was no, that another one of those ones you uh, Avi, Avi, please, can you can you continue with me, please? Ali, please. In terms of raw data that we have in front of us, according to uh, Dan according to Daniel Pape, who wrote the book Dying to Win, looking at the period of uh, time from 1980 up until yep. I think it was 2000, it was a 30-year period he looked at, yep. and it's probably regarding academics is probably the most accurate uh, survey of suicide bombers in in the in the, in the modern period. And he said that in terms of ratio, the number one group of people that did suicide bombing was the Tamil Tigers. That's that's his finding, right? Yeah. What years was this? Pardon? What, what years? What, what? He looked from 1980 until another yeah. period, 2005, I think. Yeah. 1980 to 2005, which is about 25 years. Yeah. So he looked at that period of time, which is uh, pre, uh, obviously, 9-11 and post. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So here we're looking at a very... So here, the point is this, is that... When we look at the academic data, yeah, it doesn't substantiate your claim. It does because the, the Tamil Tigers, uh, and I condemn any, any. See now, terrorism. Avi, do you know what I've done with you today, no, no, Avi? No, hold on. Uh, yes, yeah. go ahead, sorry. Yes. Sir. But the Tamil yes. Tigers yes. is in a specific war zone. Islam. So suicide, suicide bombing. Islam looks Innocence. at the war. No, I'm condemning it. No problem. But what I'm saying is the reason why you don't see me out there. It's taking up the cause of the Tamil because the fact is know, they are no threat to us here in the West. Okay, so your focus is that which is a threat because your religion calls no, 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 uh, the, Abby. The, the fundamental basis of it yes. is an Islamic caliphate worldwide. Okay, now all that, of you that, believe that's, that one that's, day that's your interpretation of that. No, what are I, you denying that? Yeah, I'm denying that. I don't think the fundamental I, I know, no, I'm, I'm, I know the Quran. Hold on, hold on, guys. Oh, yeah. Sorry, do you yeah, not believe? Okay, fine, not fundamental. Do you believe? No, no, I, I believe that the fundamental message of Islam... No, no, forget the word fundamental right, because I like it, I can see what you're yes, doing. Yes, yes. I will tell you clearly, right? I will tell you clearly that... I will tell you clearly that... I will tell you clearly there is no... Uh, there is no specific instruction in the Quran, and I dare anyone to define me, there is no specific instruction in the Quran telling ordinary Muslim laymen to establish a caliphate and you can, you can give me the opposite. So, uh, so what I'm asking you is... Uh, no, no, I've, you've made a claim. I, no, I'm asking so you what I'm asking you... Fine, so you're, you're denying, yes, I'm denying the idea I'm denying that in Islam yes, I'm denying you need a worldwide caliphate. No, I'm not denying that you... No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, let me, let me be clear. I'm not denying the existence of a caliphate historically no, 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 or the need no, no. for it. Or the need for it, the, the, or, 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 denying, or the advantage of it. No, I, hold on. I didn't ever say that right. in the Quran it says you have to. You, no, you I, said I'm it was a message. Yes. As yes. One of the, I'm not going to use the word fundamental. Oh, so what do you want to say? What, one, what, what's the message you're trying to communicate? One of the objectives, one of the things within Islam yeah. is to create. Everybody's Who? got to have an active role. Every Who Muslim. Says, oh, you sound like Hasbut Tahrir. I mean, here the thing Every is. Every Muslim has to have. The, the pro, okay. Whether okay. it's. Through violent jihad, no, no. Or whether now, now you've gone to ISIS. Jihad. <laughs> no, From Hazrat right. Tahrir to ISIS. No, Look, it's not ISIS. Here's the point. Here's Do the you point. believe that the world needs to become a worldwide caliphate one no, day? No, absolutely not. I don't think yeah. that Sharia law should be imposed on every uh, every person, especially non-Muslims. And the it evidence and the evidence yeah. of that is in the Quran. Do you know that? The Quran says La ikraha fi din qad tabayna rushdum al ghay that there's no compulsion in religion. And when it talks about imposing the jizya on the individual, <laughs> hold on, let me. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there before you get there, my friend. I love jizya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, Abby, uh, let's keep this yalla, mature. Yalla, yalla. Yalla, Habib. What I was going to say to you is that when it talks about imposing the jizya on uh, Jewish people and Christian people in chapter 9, verse 29, if you look at the tafsir or the exegesis of one person called uh, Al Qurtubi, he says about this that when you impose a jizya, is just a tax. No, it isn't. Okay, tell me the opposite. The, the tax is a part of it. But okay. it's second class citizen on every level. Okay, hold on. I'll so, come to it. I'll come like to it. My, my, my family on every lived level. under. Well, you know. Yes, yes. You're not allowed to. Sorry, go ahead. You're not allowed to build churches, synagogues. No, no, that's no, no. no hold on, hold on, please, please. He's he's right to an extent. You're talking about the Arabian Peninsula, okay? No, yes. no I'm talking about the idea of being a dimmy. Gives, no, 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 that's that not, that, that's, yeah. well, there's no evidence for that. I'm telling you, in, in, the, um, Arabian, in the Arabian Peninsula, there was specific command that, yeah, you can't build a church in that area. Because, look, people say, you're not even allowed to go into Mecca as a non-Muslim. 
Did you know this? I uh -huh, I know that. Let me tell you why, okay? Do you know that in Mecca now, and when we go there now, yeah? I've been there, you know, I've got a video online if you want to see me going to Mecca, you know, interesting. No, uh, can I come with you to Mecca? Uh, no, you, unless you, yes, you can actually, on one condition. I've got to take this. Yeah, yeah. now, while I'll do the shah, No, no, yeah. let me tell you something, right? It's a city which is quite small. There's about three million people that go there every year, yeah? Now, people die uh, being trampled over and things like yeah. that. And the reason why they die is because of overpopulation, overcrowding, right? Yep. Now, imagine if we made this a tourist resort for, for Christians and Jews. You know Jews. what I love most about you now, besides your height, I've found something else, is Good. that you find a way to justify every barbaric thing no, no, with like, no, no, like yeah, some yeah, sort yeah, of like sensible, uh, barbaric. Oh, like some sort of sensible explanation. No, you know why you can't build synagogues? No, no, because no problem. people might get hurt. <laughs> okay. What you. bullshit is that? Okay, no problem. Uh, let's, let's not go with that. Hey, no, let's, not, let's not go with that. Rubbish. No, 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 that's not, if there's, I don't have a cameraman. The Quran says, I'm going to support you. I'm going to, I'm going to do your job for you. A wandering Guys, sorry. Let me, let me, for telling me let me make your life easier. I'll give you a verse in the Quran that gives you a reason. Yes. Yep. It says, إنما إنما المشركين نجس فلا يقرب المسجد الحرام بعد عميهم هذا. It says that the, certainly the polytheists are impure, so they should not be allowed in the sanctuary after this year. What does it mean to be impure as a as a polytheist? It, there's two opinions. One opinion is that they are impure in the sense that they they are not Muslims. They are not monotheists, and this is yep. the strongest opinion. So someone who does not have monotheism should not come into the sanctuary where there is monotheism. So this is the Quranic explanation. I'm not going to apologize about that. It's polemic. I'm just saying that so this particular sanctuary... Do you, do you, so yes. you're not going to apologize for it. Do you find that... I don't find that anything. And there's some places I can't go to Cordoba. I can't go to certain where, places. Where can you go? In certain places in Spain. I can't go to the certain places in Spain and establish a mosque. I can't go to the Vatican and establish a mosque. There no, show me one. Is, is there any place on earth that you yes, can't yes. go to? Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah, the Wailing Wall. Your religion. The Wailing Wall. Bullshit. I, uh, I'll show you a video no, no, now. No, no, no. I took a Muslim in a burqa to the Wailing Wall. Okay, very good. To prove a point. Yes, to prove a point. To prove a point. Now, can you prove a point? Why not take Abby, me to Mecca? No, no problem. I'm not, gonna, uh, I'm not a liberal, brother. So, I, uh, Abby, look at me. Look at me. I'm not. I, I'm not a philosophical liberal. Yeah? yeah. So in my estimation, if there are some things, I'll agree with you. At one point, this goes against. Are you a pack of racists? Uh, no, yeah. I don't. Because, because I, I think on. that if anyone's going to be accused of racism, it's going to be the now chosen chosen race. Out. But it's it's not going to be the the chosen look, people. Gentiles. You're a Gentile. Gentile. Right. Gentiles. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentiles. Hold the, yeah. Hold the camera for me. They're going to be our slaves Ali, Ali, one day. Ali, Ali, exactly. Let me, let me just, yeah. let me finish off with them. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think we're done. You got me. Ali, sorry. Oh, we need Ali hey, because there's only 20 minutes left. No, I want to see this. Yeah, yeah. no, I'll yeah. give Ali's next. Yeah. Ali's. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got five minutes. After hijab, you don't need me. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. No, no, I want to, I want to talk to you. Because you did so, you did so well on Tommy Robinson that time. No problem. Here's what I say to you guys, and I want to say it openly. I don't want to seem like an apologist. I'm going to give you the. You don't the want to sound like an apologist. No, 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 I'm not an apologist. You better shut up. Then. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Here's what I'll say to you then, yeah? I'll say to you, generally speaking, number one, my premise is not philosophical liberalism. So if you think that there are some things, because you said yourself, I believe in like the judo Christian uh, Western. You say, you say, use the word Western, a philosophical framework. I don't believe in that. I believe in. Uh, Why do you live here? No, no, I don't need to believe in that to live here. Yeah. According yeah, to uh, you sort no, of no, 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 brother, here. please let me let me I'm let me correct him. Let me correct him. Giant. Yes, <laughs> Avi. According to liberalism itself, I can believe in whatever I want so long as I don't harm you. You know what I love about that is you yes, get to yes. use Western ideals to yes. justify so how to hate. So so uh, so what? So it's, it's just, it's so just how, mind boggling. Listen, uh, 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 Avi, no problem. I'm going to say to you, if you are a true liberal, yes? I'm not a true liberal. Oh, so wherever you are, I don't care. If you, if you believe in philosophical liberalism, what is your base? What is your premise? Who am I speaking to? You seem to be just... I so think if you live in the West, yes, accept yes. Western values and, and uh, embrace well, it. Well, Western values are liberalism, as far as I'm no. concerned. Okay, fine. Liberal, liberal, liber philosophical liberalism. But you just yes. said now you don't accept them. Yes. No, I don't accept that is an ultimate truth. That's does, part Israel, of it. does Sharia come first? Islam comes uh, No first. doubt about it in my mind. No doubt about it in my... Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it in my mind. I will you, say, can you understand why people want to say to you, then get out? No, no because, because Israel come first. You uh, uh, Ali, sorry. Uh, 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 not here. Uh, answer. If I, if answer. If I, if answer. One second. Ask me. Does Ali, Israel come first in Britain? Ali, Ali. Oh, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you go next. When I'm in Australia, I'm Australia comes first. Now. Ali, Ali, Ali. When I'm in Israel, Ali, Ali. Israel comes first. So, anyways, look, 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 listen to the statement. No, no, guys, please. What is that? You don't talk to me like that. Brother, brother. You don't talk to me like that. You don't talk to me like that. You don't talk to me like that. 
Listen to me. In 15 minutes, you can get all jihadi. Just not now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, my progress. Ali, Ali, sorry, sorry. Ali. Good, he demonstrated. Ali, uh, Avi. Uh, don't call me Ali. Yeah. Uh, so I said Ali and then Avi. Listen to me. Mashallah. 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 Here's what I'll say to you. It's my final statement. I'm going to leave after this, right? I'm going to let Ali get uh, it. Yeah. Yes. Ali I'm, I'm, I'm going to say to you this. Hold on. I'm going to say to you that me, if you're going to talk to me on a philosophical level and you want to see what parts of the Quran we should quote unquote take out, I am only concerned. All of it. I am only concerned with my discourse, yes, about statements and questions which have creedal disproving implications. Okay? <clears throat> now, if you don't have anything, like all you're doing now is applying liberal Western value judgments and saying, I don't like this. That's to be honest. I just think we should condemn Jews. No, no I've, no, I, I, that's a pretty I haven't. Basic start. I, I haven't disagreed oh, with you on that no. point. What I'll say to you is this: if it doesn't have creedal disproving, you disagree. My name is Yusuf. Man. Yusuf, uh, brother, my brother is also uh, Yusuf. Uh, brother Moshe, you call it. Akhi, akhi, I'm so, I'm it to Let me finish off my statement, then you can speak. Yes? Moshe is Abhi, look at me. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Point being is, here's, here's why I think you should stand. I appreciate two things you've done today, yes? You condemned parts of the Old Testament based on your idea of morality. Yes. That's good. You're, you condemned parts of, in general, the Bible, right? And you said that it's, it's relevant to all scriptures. The rabbi, he said they weren't no, even in the Bible. No, no, no. no. Okay, so, 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 so here, he's not, he's not a Jew by religion. Here's the point, here's the point. What I think you should do, my advice to you, if you want to apply a morally coherent standard, you should be as active, you should be as active, you should be, yeah, don't antagonize me, please. Can you give him away? Don't let him get his shot. Uh, look at me. You should be as active in condemning bi biblical scripture as you are condemning the Quranic scripture. I, I, I want to see that change. The moment, the I moment see that Jews start flying planes into buildings, Wallah Habib, I'm with you. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, now, let's go. Ali. Right. Ali. Ali.